this is the part where I have to do a bit of a preamble. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sand Sol. I always call him Sand Soy. I will be referring to him as Sand Soy from here on out because that is, in my opinion, what the name that he deserves. Okay? Sand Soy is a Twitter user and a, a 10 viewer uh, politics streamer, drama streamer, um, who I have known about for some time. Two years ago, uh, I was on a uh, fundraiser stream for, uh, a, I think it was for the Treasure Trevor Project, Project, excuse me. It was a trans positive, LGBT positive fundraiser and I had quite a good time. Since then, Sansoy has become not only one of the most malignant toads on Twitter in general, but has spun into a level of obsession with me that is honestly a little bit disturbing. Now, those of you who've been watching my show a long time will know that I basically never bring this guy up. I deliberately, when people bring him up in my chat, I deliberately say, oh, I don't care about Sansoy, I'm not gonna give that guy attention. That's basically what I have said almost every single time this motherfucker has come up. But let me tell you, this guy tweets about me a lot. Let me see if I can substantiate that real quick. Hold on. I'm just gonna search right now. I'm just gonna show you, okay? Can we get this? Let's see. This is only for the mentions of, of, oh, hold on. How do I do an advanced search? Let's do an advanced search real quick. Just real quick, let's see. From these accounts, at Sond Soul, mentioning, hold on, Demon Mama? Okay, let's search real quick. Here we go. Demon Mama is too scared to debate since she found out literally every position she has is fucking retarded. Shoot me a DM. We can. Oh, that's a DM. That's not me. That's a false positive. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da 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 -da. When you say a genocide is already happening, the system is rigged. In Demon Mama's case, literally tells people to get armed. Yep, get armed. Nazi gender is valid. Literally, Demon Mama. This is all in November, by the way. These are just from November. Okay. Uh. Here we go. If you asked anyone IRL who Yaniv is, they, they wouldn't know, but she still influenced discourse. Demon Mama has radically changed the discourse for the worse, where you can see her gender self-ID takes and anti-education arguments outside of these spheres. Demon Mama and poly people being trans advocates is the worst thing to happen to the trans community since Jessica Yaniv. Now, for those of you who don't know who Jessica Yaniv is, Jessica Yaniv is a convicted child predator who became infamous for being a convicted child predator. Jessica Yaniv also happens to be trans. Jessica Yaniv is one of the people that conservatives will bring out to try and make all trans people look bad by saying, hey, look, this is a trans pedophile. And, and Sansol spent multiple days tweeting about how, with no prompt, I did not mention Sansoy. I did not mention him at all. This guy tweets about me so much, it's not even funny. Here we go again. Here's another one, him quote tweeting me. Here's another one on October 14th. Here's another tweet on October 7th. And this is just the times that he explicitly mentions my name. Not talking about the threads he writes about me. Not talking about all this other shit. Demon Mama again in September, 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 September. We got September, a quote tweet here. We got August, August 20th, August 1st. We got July. So basically multiple times a month without any prompting or any engagement, I've literally had him muted on Twitter for over a year. This guy is fucking obsessed, okay? And I just, the reason why I'm doing this right now is because I want you, my lovely followers, to understand the insanity that these motherfuckers subject me to. That these obsessed freaks, I don't talk about this guy, ever. I don't even respond to him on Twitter because I think it would be bad. This guy and a bunch of people like him, there are a couple of others who do the same thing. Some of you know their names, many of you know their names, many of you don't. 
They don't really matter. We're talking about Sansoy here, okay? Sansoy is fucking obsessed with me. Not only that, but he regularly spreads explicitly provable lies about me. And it's really goddamn annoying, okay? This guy is a terminal loser. His, his show, let me just show you something. I'm gonna be really mean because I hope you understand why I'm justified in being mean to this disgusting, obnoxious, liar fuck who wastes everybody's time, who does nothing but spread lies, spread transphobia, and stupid bullshit on the internet. A guy who literally just says, I am going to log on and spread misinformation on the internet. I hope you understand why I'm gonna be mean to this motherfucker. Let's just take a look. Watch this. This is incredible, okay? Here's this guy's stream. Oops. Whoopsies. Hasn't streamed in a while, huh? Let's take a look. Shall we go back? Shall we go back for a, a let's look a whole year. Look at this chart, okay? Over the course of the last year, he had 55 average viewers. Now, if we go back to his last stream, he's jumped to, oh, I mean, sorry, dropped to a whopping 16 average viewers, okay? But look at this guy's decline, all right? Now, if you want to go through here and try and find out, let's see what his peak, what's his peak viewers that he's ever had. He had 707 viewers. I wonder what he was, I wonder what he was covering that day. Do we have a title? Let's see. Hmm. No, we don't. We don't get any further information. That's unfortunate. December 13th of last year. I wonder what he could have been covered. I wonder if he got raided by the streamer that he watches the most. Hmm. Maybe. Wouldn't that be interesting? Regardless, just so you know, I just want you to, to, to know this guy's career has been tanked by himself. Because people tune into his stream and all he does is regurgitate stuff that nobody has any fucking context for, only his own deranged followers. Let me show you something else. Let me show you something else, okay? I'm just, I just wanna show you something real quick, okay? I wanna just, I wanna make sure that you understand just how ridiculous uh, this guy goes. Oh wait. He was just tweeting about me again. This was literally two days ago. He was doing it again. Why did you take down the stream where you defend Nazi gender is valid? Is that a lie or is it a lie you took down the stream on November 10th? I never take down my streams. I never said Nazi gender was valid, did I? In fact, I think I remember my argument term for term, which was that I believe that if somebody wants to, they can identify as Nazi gender, and I will not honor it because I don't honor Nazis. That's, that's the only argument I've ever made. I don't believe I've ever said the words, Nazi gender is valid. Maybe I, maybe I, I, maybe I said those words at some point, but that's not the argument. The argument is, is that it's invalid because it's a, sh it's, it's a abhorrent identity. If somebody identifies as a mass murderer, I'm not, well, they're gonna, they're gonna get in trouble, but you know, whatever. Oh yeah, also, this was another one that he did. This is really funny, but also just obsessed. Let me just grab this. I wanna show you the one that I was talking about before we continue with this, because we're gonna get to see something really, really special tonight. Really, really special, okay? Let me just see. Where's the one? When was the election? November 8th? Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where's the one? I'm just scrolling through here so you can see, okay? Oh yeah, he just retweets Destiny stuff all the time because this guy's pathetic as fuck. Where is it? November 8th, here we go. So, on election day, on election day, okay? Let, let me set the stage. It's election day. You wanna know what I was doing on election day? Well, I had already voted. I know, right? Based anarcho, 
uh, victorious. Yeah, I had voted ahead. I voted early by mail because that's legal and suggested in my state. Based. So on November 8th, I was in my home state enjoying my time. I was out all day. I was driving all over the place. I was literally enjoying some of the best food I've had in years, uh, having an awesome time. Do you want to know what Sansoy was doing? Sansoy was saying this, their way, referring specifically to me and poly people, their way of vocalizing their concerns is absolutely a problem. Wow. Uh, we'll see. They care more about expanding the definitions of words to fit what's best for their YouTube videos and telling people there's no point in trying to get people to vote against ours since they're already genociding them. Just wait. Just wait. When you say a genocide is already happening, saying the system is rigged against them, that the only way to win is through the most aggressive rhetoric, in Demon Mama's case literally tells people to get armed, the only outcome is violence after trans people lose all their rights. If the entire left listened to them, we would secede all electoral power to the Republicans, thus allowing what they think is happening now to actually happen, thus justifying violence instead of stopping them. So you can see, this guy's a fucking idiot. Do you, do you get this? This guy is brain dead. There is not, there are two, there are not even two cells connecting in this guy's head. But hold on. So this was him on election day. This was him on the morning of election day, and he went on to, of course, argue with people for hours upon hours upon hours on election day, here and in other threads. Now, I had already voted on election day, but I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna scroll back in time real quick. We're gonna pop back and we're gonna see what I tweeted on election day before I even knew that this fucking weird freak was tweeting about me. Ready? Hold on. We're going to go back and we're just going to look at it so you guys understand how unbelievably goddamn right I am. Okay? Hold on. Here we go. There's the pictures. And here we go. Where is it here? Here it is. I voted early by mail. Thanks, Washington. And there were 15 uncontested positions on the ballot. So I just wrote in characters from Breaking Bad and Pathologic 2. Then I tweeted some delicious food, by the way. That right over there, what you are seeing, hold on. This is a real main chowda. That right there is what a real main chowda looks like. And this is what fr real fried clams look like, okay? Just so that we're clear. Hold on, I just needed, a, I just needed to make that clear, all right? Then I tweeted about my food and that we were spotting animals. And then I tweeted a joke. Red wave, more like red stain. All those Republican wins localized to Florida and Texas. Good riddance, genocidal freaks. Bought ourselves some time. Let's rescue our allies and friends in balkanized red states while we can. Tell me, dear viewer, tell me, my lovely imps, how does anything that I said on that day, on election day, how does anything that I said discourage anyone from vote? I specifically, before I even read his stupid, idiotic, brain-dead thread, I specifically tweeted out that I had voted early to remind people via humor, because I do that, because I'm an entertainer, to remind them, go vote. I voted, go vote. Everybody knows that I am an anarcho-pilled, meth-creating, bathtub estrogen, whatever, right? But I'm tweeting about how I voted. Morgan Sucks says, I voted because of you. Thank you, thank you. At least one other person voted because of me. And then I continued to encourage people to save people's lives in red states. And this brain dead, mentally and intellectually and morally bankrupt, ugly, bearded, stupid fuck was sitting there comparing me to a fucking pedophile for the entirety of election day. Motherfucker, get off your ass and go do literally anything other than what you do with your life. However, it gets funnier, okay? It gets, oh, oh, it gets so, oh, it gets so funny, okay? It gets so funny. All right, 
Now, hold on a second. Let me get the, I gotta grab the video here. Bear with me for one second, because I gotta bring this goddamn video up. One second. I gotta get the stream link, hold on. I didn't actually put this aside, because we're gonna watch something really fucking funny. Where's that fucking clip? Oh, it's so good. It's so goddamn good. Where is it? Where's my where's my thing? Give me just a second. I actually have to find the uh the link. Hold on, I can find this. Oh wait. Hold on, one more thing. I forgot. Sansol got himself banned on Twitch. That's a little weird, right? Um I actually forgot. This is the reason why I don't have the video. Oops, sorry. Um <laughs> Sansul got himself banned on Twitch. Now, if you're wondering why he got himself banned, that's what we're gonna watch together, okay? Because fuck this guy. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Just the distillation of the, the freaks that I've had to deal with for the last few years. But don't worry, we're gonna get it. Let me just get the clip. Hold on, let me see here. Hold on, I got it. I got the fucking VOD. Just give me a second. I just have to actually get the VOD. We have the VOD. You, you, your patience will be rewarded, okay? Just give me a minute to get the VOD downloaded and we're gonna watch it together. So you can see for yourself exactly how fucking stupid this malignant piece of shit is. And also part of the reason why I say good riddance to fucking Twitter because Idiots like this guy swarm all over the place like fucking fleas. Ah, yes! Here we go. We got the, we have, okay, there was a YouTube mirror. All right, let me just find this spot real quick, okay? Hold on. Here we go. Pretty hateful, though. Um. Here we go. Trans friends. If someone wants to make it... You're gonna have a lot of fun so with this, I assure you. Anyway. Let's get to the right pretty spot. Okay. How's my mic? Everything cool? Is there... Here we go. So, this is a conversation with, as I understand it, uh, a, uh, a, a viewer by the name of Ellen Degenerate, okay? I want you guys, we're gonna have a great time, okay? I just want you to watch this, and I want you to understand exactly why trans people constantly say people like Sansol are not your friends, they're not your allies, they don't even try to be allies. They just say it when they want to deflect criticism. Let's watch this together, shall we? Let's breathe in deep of the blood. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let Ellen Degenerate do the work, and then we're gonna rip into him one more time, okay? Let's have fun, all right? Do you hear anything in the background? Let's sit uh, back and have fun. There seems to be a lot of background noise, but oh, it's not- Oh, hold on, is Sansol literally here? Oh, Sansol, Sansol. Here's your opportunity. Do you want to come on and talk right now? We were going to laugh at your thing, but actually, do you want to come on in like 10 to 15 minutes after we're done? We can have a little talk. Maybe we can sort things out once and for all. You just go ahead and uh, you go ahead and, and think on that. We're going to watch your, what you have to Unbearable. say here. It's probably my fan. Let me turn that off. Audio good, everybody? Okay. Okay. What about now? I mean, it sounds exactly the same, but I can deal with it. Uh, well, goddamn Twitter lefty audio technicalities. All right. So, so anyway. So true. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so I have this. Oh, are you running from already? The Daily Wire. I got today. Oh, son, soy, soy. Don't tell me you're running again, you little bitch. Don't tell me you're running again, you fucking slimy coward. You fucking piece of shit. Don't tell me you're running again, you little soy piece of shit. Okay. And I want to read it to you, and I want to ask you if you think it's genocidal. Sure. Okay. All right. Let All right, everybody. 
No distractions. Listen closely. Ellen Degenerate just said, I'm going to read you something, and I want you to tell me if it's genocidal, okay? Letter from a girl from Tampa. Dear Matt Walsh, I attend a well-known Christian high school in Tampa. Unfortunately, we still have a lot of trans students, and unfortunately, it's customary that many girls are close friends with these trans. On special days, when we wear our uniforms to school, these girls in uniforms walk around the schoolyard arm in arm with their trans friends. If someone wants to make it clear to the relevant Christian students their conduct, they say trans people are people too, and Eva is a really modest, respectable, nice girl. The bad thing is their parents are also of the same opinion. I consider such friendships to be very dangerous because the trans subtly but surely corrode the girl's soul with their ruinous views. At least in most cases, a 14-year-old girl is too inexper inexperienced to see through the deviousness and actual intent of the trans friends. I myself am barely 15 years old and therefore incapable of proving to my classmates how stupid their opinions are and that pity for trans is pure suicide. Therefore, I'd like to ask you, can't your blog do more about it? It'd certainly be successful because girls are far too unenlightened about the details of trans ideology. Normal boys certainly don't have trans friends anymore. And if this isn't the case yet with girls, it's only because no one is there to thoroughly explain everything to them. Ursula from Tampa, the reply from Matt Walsh is, Dear oh, no, little Ursula. Little, we're hearing his response to how long is his response? No, no, it's like it's like a two sentence. Section. Okay, cool. Dear little Ursula, your letter made daily wire happy. You're a girl that a time like ours needs. Even though you're only 15 years old, you are much more advanced in your knowledge of the trans ideology than people older than you. Always speak up freely. Okay, do you feel like this article is genocidal? No, it sounds very hateful though. Um, what if I told you that I took an article from Der Sturmer and just replaced Jew with trans? <laughs> oh, oh my god so holy fucking shit J just re just realize that literally took an article from from world war ii der Sturmer. okay just changed the word to trans and said act let's say let's pretend it's a letter to matt walsh that's the only changes that were made to this and fucking Sansoy's big brain response was, oh, you know, I don't know, it's hateful, but not genocidal. Let's see where he goes from here. Let's see where we go from here. Do you think, hold on a minute. Do, do you think that Sansoy could make it worse? What if I told you that this was the clip that got him banned from Twitch? Maybe you might believe he could make it worse. Let's go, everybody. Let's let let's let Sansoy speak for himself. Uh, it sounds very hateful, but it's not necessarily. Oh, by the generous. way, oh, so sorry, sorry. Hold on. Before we get into that, hey, Sansoy, I noticed that you disappeared out of chat. Did you run away? Let me just check. Did you completely? No, nope, you're still here. Did you? Uh, are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, are you? Sh like like. Are you okay? Are you scared? Is that the problem? I know you're still lurking in chat. You're definitely still listening. And I know you must be very excited to see yourself TOS yourself. But, you know, I just wanted to give you a little bit of time to respond. Just so you know. Just so just so we're on the same page, you and I. So, so a article from Der Starmer in 1935 about Jewish people where I just literally just replaced certain words is not genocidal to you. But... Do you think that this is a gotcha? Do you know what yeah, genocide oh no, I means? Think this is a, I think this is an amazing- This isn't a gotcha. This is a, this is a you've been exposed for a piece of shit fraud. That's what this is. This wasn't a gotcha. This was a, you are so unbelievably stupid, you didn't even think for a second before you opened your fucking yammering maw. Gotcha. I think that it shows that you are incapable of uh, okay, recognizing so is, genocidal okay. intent okay, even so, when it's directly in front of you. So what, what does genocide mean to you? Does it mean uh, people being hateful or... Uh, usually it means, uh, I, I'll go with the UN definition, even though I think it's too narrow and I think it fits. Okay, so a girl at a school saying that she doesn't like Jewish kids, or even if we were to say, like, take you, your... you, you, you're just incapable of taking the L, aren't you? Wait, wait, wait. 
she didn't just say that she doesn't like Jewish kids. In the video, in if we go back and listen to that, I don't need to repeat this. You know what she said. She said, she, she called them degenerate. He's doing right now, this is genocide denial. This is d downplaying a genocide. Saying, changing the words of what you were just read to make yourself look better so that you don't sound like, like the dude is literally lying about what a Nazi child just said so that he can try and look better. That is genocide denial. You. I'm asking you a question. Do you think that simply by like hating someone that necessarily entails genocide no so, i don't think i think you're okay, so then you're what, misunderstanding then what, the point what was the because okay so the, yeah the explain to me the point is was, that because point i was no, hold on really quick you just got to read off an entire article all right okay? all right all right so if you're going to read to me a letter of someone being really hateful no that does not necessarily show genocidal being really hateful uh dehumanizing and talking about them as if they're a dangerous, corrupting plague, it's beyond hateful. It, this is one of the things I talked about uh, in, the, uh, in, in my last section before I left, where I was talking about the problem with Kanye West's anti-Semitism. And remember how I talked about it wasn't just that he was being anti-Semitic, it's that he was also uh, uh, reasserting the idea that there's conspiracy theories going on, that there are, uh, that there is, like Jewish people uh, uh, pulling the strings, that type of shit is the problem. That right there is the problem. And this guy literally cannot recognize that this is genocidal re rhetoric, that this is intrinsically genocidal rhetoric. And he's sitting here and dying on the biggest mound of shit, all of which was produced from his own fucking unwashed asshole. Fucking like action or intent? No, absolutely so not. You Especially think, so from you a fifteen-year-old girl, right? When we're talking about genocide, you, we're talking about the actions of a are, state. So you think? So you think Der Starmer was not being genocidal when they were writing articles about the Jews? You asked me if that article, in and of itself, was so, genocidal. So you can't consider. So if you, you can't see. Literally, I all I literally did was I, I think I changed the, from Tampa, from Hamburg to Tampa, and I changed. Real quick, I just want to show you that I'm telling the truth. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Oh, thank you. Go ahead and set that down there real quick. I just want to show you that I'm telling the truth, okay? Here's my stream. Down here, Sansol, you see this? He's in my chat right now. So this motherfucker has gone mighty silent, but he's in my chat listening right now to himself do genocide denial after talking shit in my live chat and avoiding coming on for a conversation. Trans to Jews Just so and you know. I changed Jewish question to trans ideology. Okay, That's literally let me ask all you I this. Changed. Let me ask you this. So let's say we take an article from the Daily Stormer, the you know the one that was based off of Der Sturmer, and we read a, an op-ed in there. Is that genocidal because there's a hateful fucking person on the internet that posted a fucking? Uh... <laughs> literally. Literally. Uh, no, article? I'm not saying this article alone is genocidal. Okay, well, I'm that was your I'm original showing... question. No, that's I'm why I answered you, in the I, way that I did. Yeah? I'm at, it's showing you that you can't see genocidal rhetoric, what, rhetoric when it's right in front of your face. Hold on. That's not at all what you asked me. You realize that, right? So you literally just denied that Der Sturmer was being genocidal to the Jews in this article written in 1939. That one article does not in and of itself constitute uh, so... a fucking genocide. No. Oh, there it is. There is the explicit motherfucking genocide denial, okay? A genocidal article, he says, well, that article doesn't justify a genocide. That's a weaselly little way to sidestep the fact that the article itself is espousing genocidal ideas and you won't admit it. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know how much more blatant it can get, but again, Let's just reassert what my charge is against the, uh, the uh, greasy, disgusting, parasocial, stalker, freak, sans soul. My original allegations is that this motherfucker is too fucking stupid to put two thoughts together. And I, 
I rest my case. And by rest my case, I mean we're gonna watch the rest of him. Let's let's watch this moron dig his grave. Oh, okay. So this is the only article written like this about trans people or uh, Jewish people. This was the only thing. This is thing. the weakest fucking gotcha of this all time. This is not time. a weak gotcha. I can tell that you were so I, you... fucking horny to fucking drop that shit on me. But like, it's it's not. Do you think? Do you think that this? weirdo de like fake debate bro shit is the real good look after you just downplayed genocide after you just said that you don't think an article from literally a propaganda literally from der Sturmer isn't genocidal propaganda do you think that's the right answer my man like i said once again i reiterate not two brain cells in his head dude can't string a thought together doing what you th oh he can't string a thought together unless mind you Sansol can't string a thought together unless it is to accuse two innocent trans people of being uh, uh, comparing them to pedophiles. Isn't that interesting? He sure was able to think for long enough to write out a thing where he accused without any evidence and uh, 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 and and uh, and lied about what was actually said. He accused two people of being similar to a known convicted pedophile. Interesting that he sure can get the transphobia together. He sure can get the anti-semitism together But he can't string together an argument to fucking save his life I Think it's doing now if you want to talk about the actual shit that's going on in the in the world right now, right? No, and talk I, I about already, like the I actions already, that I already Oh, I you already, already got, got your clip. Oh, you got your dunk. <laughs> oh, so you just want to come in here and get a, a clip chimp. Okay, gotcha. So you actually yeah. don't care at all about trans people. All you want to do oh, is no. that's not a clip that's not a clip chimp. A clip chimp is when you when you cut something out of context that sounds like they're saying something else, but they're not actually saying that. You just did it. That's not a clip chimp. You got owned. You fucking cuck. Come I in do, here. All you want to do is, is, is right now come into my stream, effective. get a fucking six or seven second clip, and then fucking go with it. Exactly like what Polly does. Exactly mm. what Demon Mommy does. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. We've been watching this for about five minutes. Yep, actually over five minutes. So it's not a seven second clip, you stupid moronic idiot. It's you shitting out your mouth for fucking five minutes straight. What President Sunday does. You mean the people because you that actually have, have more no, subs than you? The people that have no ability the to that actually have more engage. Subs than you? actually no ability to oh, actually Keep in mind, where the fuck did I have to do with anything? Huh? Tell me. Why did my name come up there? I wasn't talking to him. Oh wait, it's because he's fucking obsessed. It's because he's an obsessed fucking freak. And yes, that's pizza, and I'm enjoying my pizza. Engage with a fucking thing that I've said. The Do people you, who let me ask can you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Can't. Let me ask you this. Well, I'm not trying to make a living off of streaming. So let okay. me ask you this. <laughs> Thank God, my man. Thank God you're not trying to make a living off of streaming. Otherwise, I would feel really fucking bad looking at how your shit channel has tanked over the last year. You've just bled followers. You've bled viewers. What do you get? Like five viewers a stream and they're all people fucking jerking off in the corner the entire time? Fuck you, man. What, uh, <laughs> what is my position? Uh, your position is that you are unwilling to call it a genocide until somebody is literally being put in a train to go to a camp. Holy shit. Yeah, yep. so you don't know what my position is. Uh, no, I've, I've watched. That is your position, even if you're too dumb to realize it. That's not my position. What's True! The That's the argument you keep making, you stupid dick. Yeah, maybe we should watch every Sansol stream from the last four months. Oh, that would be funny. Too bad his channel got banned. You know what's sad? You guys want to know what's monumentally stupid? What's extra stupid? This was uploaded to his own fucking channel. He uploaded this, this backup, to his own goddamn YouTube channel. <sighs> like the stream, like the stream. Damn, bro. Thought you said you didn't care about your stream doing well. However. 
Okay, what is your position? My position is this. We have a lot of really bad things going on in, with trans people right now in the United States. The Republican Party is really, really fucking hateful. You might even say that some- What's his audience like? Imagine, uh, okay, you wanna know what what uh, what Sansol's audience is like? Sansol's audience is basically just imagine the like, imagine the kid who got caught jerking off in the corner uh, uh, of your high school you know, the like the kid who was in the corner and he was like jerking off in English class. Imagine five of those people sitting in a room and now you understand Sansol's audience. OK, there you go. Just a bunch of fucking jerk off high schoolers going eh, eh, in the back of the class. Vivian, what the hell? What the hell are those fucking insults? No, I will never use those. Those are those are insufferable. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm, I can't. Not to not to throw shade. Good try, but oh my god. I'd have to do an accent to even say that. Them Let's continue. Might have some sort of genocidal intent, like uh, like as individuals, but we cannot say that there is a. Gen oh hey, look at this. Hey, real quick, I'm just gonna zoom in on something right here. Hold on, hold on. Look at his chat right here. Do you see that? Does everybody see what that says there? Let's see if that person's get let, let's see if that person alleging me of a crime in his chat gets banned. Okay? Let's see. In a side of trans people going on in the United oh. States given oh. what's going on Not right seeing a ban. now because Number one, there simply Not isn't. Seeing a band. There's nothing that oh. can corroborate that. Oh, Number no mods. There, oh, there's there mods in chat. So you're not grabbing it. I thought you said the group thought, or in part. Oh, and we're lucky because basically this idiot has no. He has no viewers, so this thing will probably stay on screen for the next ten minutes, and we'll get to see for sure if any of his mods ever decided to uh, purge someone literally without evidence, calling me a pedophile. I'm sorry, I thought that you were gonna let me like lay out my position. So there's no way that you can like show that there is a trans genocide going on right now. All right, you can say that perhaps there is like the precursor if like everything went fucking perfectly for the uh, for like the most like extreme of the Republican party, like sure, but we're seeing uh, people rebuke. The oh wait, there's somebody in chat right now. Most extreme I don't know if you can see this, but down on the bottom here is somebody Literally just trying to do transphobia to this person. Republican Party, look at what happened during the midterms. All right. So people, that's people were like, no, part, no, number that's one. idiotic. Oh, hold on, the Nazis hold on, never hold won on. a fucking so, election. Uh, oh, okay. So are, are you saying that we're about to see say, them like what? Uh, another putsch? I, right I'm now, saying or? that there is an insurrectionary party that, in the very same way that the Nazis were, to the point that it doesn't matter, our electoral gains matter less, considering we know that they are willing to disregard them should they ever get the power to. Okay, but they don't have the power to, because we just won big for what we were expected to do in the midterms. We still. That's so stupid. So. It doesn't seem like everybody Tom, is on. Everybody, didn't the, hold didn't on. the SPD I... and the KPD gain seats right before the Reichstag? What does that? What does that matter? Do you think that? Mean, the condi what do you mean? What does that matter? Again, so stupid. I can't. I can't actually try and react to these certain things because he says so many stupid things. Even though, even though, if that happened, that would directly contradict what he's saying. He doesn't even care. He can't even think about it. By the way, Sansol. You're still in chat, bitch. You want to come on and have a conversation, my man? We can keep watching this. Conditions in the United States you are exactly come on, the same. Or are you going to fucking bitch out? Are you going to soy out like you always do? You little weasel wuss. Same as they I don't think Nazi they have Germany. to be exactly the same in order to How create close do they have outcomes. to be? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not exactly all what I just asked. I want you to answer that. Do you think that the United States of America in 2022 is at all comparable to Weimar Germany in 1929. Oh, incredibly. Okay, so you're literally fucking retarded. Um, I All right, Soy, this is your chance. 
You've been tweeting at me multiple times a month for months. R literally for like a year, you've been obsessed with me. You were in my chat. I can see that you're in my chat right now. I can see you're sitting in there. You commented, you talked mad shit right before I play this. You gonna come on and fucking spine up or are you gonna run like the fucking worm that you are? Honestly, what I would rather have happen is that you don't show your fucking face around these parts ever again. That's what I would much prefer. I would much prefer if you'd pack up your shitty, pathetic, embarrassing stream and go find something else better to do with your time. And I mean this not just because I really don't like you and you're really creepy and really obsessed and you've also made numerous false allegations against me and your chat has literally made criminal allegations against me. But the real reason is because I think you're unwell. I don't think you're okay. And I don't think that any drop of attention, if 10 viewers can make you behave like this, if 10 viewers can make you uh, do genocide denial and, and, and call a trans person the R slur because they make a good case for a thing that you're completely blind about, I don't, I don't think you're doing so good. I don't think you're healthy. And I know that your weird stalking of me isn't healthy. So I think you should stop streaming. I think you should stop tweeting. I think you should go find new things to do with your life, new, more valuable things. But I figured just in case you, you wanted the opportunity, here's your chance to finally fucking come talk to me. Here's your chance. Well, everybody, we got through an entire trombone cover of All Star Sans Soul is still in my chat. Just so you know, we got it screen capped. You got this up on the screen once and motherfucking for all. This motherfucker who's been tweeting about me obsessively, comparing me to fucking pedophiles, doing genocide denial on the timeline, talking about mad anti-Semitic shit. This motherfucker just got exposed in real time. Let me tell you something. The shooting star did not break the mold today. Let me just say that, okay? the fuck out of here. Enduring that song was all for nothing? No, it was not for nothing. See, it was for us to be able to see once and for all that this guy is the most worthless weasel who has ever fucking turned his camera on and tried to stream. Just pathetic. Anyway. Just thought, uh, just thought, you know, I just figured. I, you know, I got pretty goddamn tired of, uh, I don't know. I got pretty fucking tired of listening to this guy's shit, of find of him finding ways around my mute, of him getting shit in front of my face. I got really tired of it. I got tired of his weird stalker bullshit. I got tired of his weird transphobia. I got tired of him accusing me of him and his chat accusing me of fucking crimes. And now you see exactly what he's worth.